Hey, what's good YouTube? Target here and welcome to another episode of Design and Manage, my City Skylines and Modded Let's Play series. In the last episode we went around all the entire city and fixed all the traffic issues that we had and today we are going to fix another issue related to traffic, but this time it's about train traffic. As we've seen on the last episode, we have a pretty serious train congestion that we are going to fix on this episode. Stay tuned for that. Alright guys, so as you can see we have a pretty uh, serious train congestion in our main rail infrastructure. We have a lot of trains waiting in line to uh, go to their next station. And most of them are passenger trains, but we also have some um, cargo trains uh, in the midst of that such as this one, for example. The reason why this particular segment of track uh, has so many problems is because there is a huge volume of trains uh, that want to come through this segment. So uh, this little segment uh, has to take over uh, external cargo trains, uh, external passenger trains, so regional trains that are coming from outside the city, bringing tourists into the city, and also uh, local trains because, as you can see, we have a local train line that goes all across this entire segment. And if I click on every single one of these trains, you can see that, uh, for example, this one is a regional train, and this one is a local train because it has a blue bar of progress. If I click on this one, this is another regional train, another regional train, this is a local train, and so on and so forth. So, as you can see, we have a lot of different trains um, going through this same line. So if I go to our traffic view, we can even see this very bright red line which indicates a, um, a very problematic uh, train congestion. As you can see, um, the line goes all across this entire segment and also uh, it goes through this segment as well uh, because there are a lot of trains here at this junction waiting to get in line. So, the most obvious solution to this problem is to uh, add an additional train line to split the traffic. So, we can have a train line that is dedicated exclusively to regional trains, so for trains coming outside of the city bringing tourists into town, and another train line dedicated exclusively for residents. So, an exclusive line that will uh, have the sole purpose of bringing citizens from one corner of the city to the other. And that's exactly what I am going to do. So, if I analyze our current um, local train situation, we can see that in this little segment we have only two train stations. We have this one and uh, also this one. So, the passenger lines do not go uh, over this point on. They end up pretty much here. So. What I think we can do is use this station as our regional station dedicated for regional trains that are wanting to bring tourists from outside the town. And I think I'm going to keep this existing line as our regional line. So the only thing that we have to do pretty much is a, a local line that connects these two stations, uh, this one and also a secondary train station that I'm going to put here for our uh, local trains and I am going to expand this pathway network uh, all the way over here, I think this is where I'll put the station so that people can transfer from the regional train station into our local station. So that's pretty much how it's going to work. For example, if you're a tourist wanting to come outside the town, the only place you can leave um, from the regional train it's going to be on this station and from this station you can pretty much uh, go out, go through this um, elevated pathway and go all the way over here where our local train uh, station will be and from here you can go to every single corner of the town or pretty much to the other st stations. So yeah guys, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. First and foremost I'm going to pause the simulation because I'm about to do some really really major damage. And I believe the first thing that I can put is our train station already. So let's put it here. Okay, pretty cool. Let's also design all of these buildings. We also do not have to worry about this uh, little segment of, of rail because as we've seen, our passenger lines do not go over this station. So this can pretty much end at a dead end here. 
I could disallow uh, intercity trains, but it's it's not going to make a big difference because this line will not have access to the outside world, so to say. But I'm going to uncheck it uh, anyway. And now we'll just have to connect this station to this station uh, over here. And that's going to be our major challenge. For this station I have two choices. I could either uh, delete this little segment of road and take out the connection uh, to the outside world from this station and keep this line as our local line. And I would then have to continue this line uh, as the original line somehow all the way until um, this station here. Or I could simply move this station a bit backwards and keep this as our original line and then I'll have to just have to continue this line uh, as a local line. I believe that is the most uh, obvious solution and also the easiest, so I don't have to rebuild everything. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. But for that I'll need to adjust the road layout, unfortunately. So let's start by removing uh, some, uh, some roads. So maybe let's start with these ones. Oh, uh, first and foremost, let me just see if I'm going to mess up some public transport lines. Uh, no, I don't think so. Our bus lines end pretty much here. So I'm going to delete these little roads. Okay. Uh, I'll also have to remove this station, unfortunately, because I need some room to work with. Let's connect this line here. And now we need to make our local line, or at least start making our local line. So it can pretty much start here. Let's just make a little segment. Okay, cool. Now let me just see if this uh, station will fit. Let's see if this is um, the correct gap between the road and the rail. And no it isn't, it needs to go a bit backwards. So let's try this and put in, yeah, there we go, I think this is it. This is the perfect space, so and now we need to delete these uh, railroads, which were pretty much useless in the first place. Now the station can pretty much go over here. Okay. We will also need to connect um, this pathway to the back side of the station, as we had before, but that's... Um, a detailed option that I'm gonna leave to a future stage. For now I just wanna connect all the rows now. So let's connect this one and of course this is giving me some trouble so let's just uh, keep moving this forward. Okay we cannot do it, we'll have to relocate the uh, metro lines. So let's bring this one here and also no, this one we can keep as it is. So let's just reconnect all the lines, there we go. Connect this road here and now we just need to find a way to connect this little road to this um, thing and connect it here. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't really like how it makes such a, a, a sharp turn, but that's pretty much our only option because we're adjusting uh, the existing line. So now let's relocate this uh, metro line or this metro station to where it was before. For that I'll have to readjust the segment of, of rail. Let's bring it all the way here, okay. Now let's connect it. And I'm hoping the line will readjust when we resume the simulation. We just need to connect all the pathways as they were before. So let's connect this one all the way over here. Actually, let's make a few modifications now that we're at it. So let's make some connections here and also here. Okay, pretty cool. Let's make sure we take advantage of all the entire uh, zoning space. Okay, I've just zoned here, but um, I am going to destroy because I have to continue this pathway and also over here, why not? And yeah, there we go. I think that's going to be it. So we now have our original line that pretty much goes through this entire um, uh, part of the city 
and pretty much connects to this station that is going to be our original uh, train station. So now we just need to find a way to connect this local station to uh, this local station. Where is it? This one. So yeah, I could simply make a tunnel and connect these both without minimal damage, but um, what's the fun of that? The challenge would be pretty much to make a, a parallel line to this one that would be visible so that we could see um, our local trains going from one way to the other. I think that's going to be much more uh, pleasing to watch. So I think I'm going to run a line over here. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Unfortunately, I will have to delete this pathway, but that's simply what we're uh, going to have to do. So let me just select a train. So let me just start and deleting this stuff. And unfortunately, um, this all of this will have to go pretty much. And I believe these parks are in the way. Or this one, at least. So let's take care of that. And now let's start building our uh, tracks. So I will want a track that goes very parallel to the existing one. And we can make it all the way over here. There we go. I think we can even connect it a bit further. Okay, look at that. Pretty cool, pretty neat. Now we should keep moving forward. You know guys, now that I look at it, if I simply continue this uh, railroad uh, forward, I can make a perfect connection to our um, train station. So yeah, I think I am going to do that. So I will have to delete these pathways here. I think a straight connection will make it look much more natural. And of course we are going to have some problems here. But let's just delete it and keep moving forward. Oh, it's not such a perfect connection after all. But we can disguise it by going all the way here and make a little turn. Nobody will notice that. So yeah, it's pretty much connected. Now we just have to connect the avenue as it was before. And it seems that we'll have to delete this overpass. And now we'll just have to connect it. Okay, so no big deal. We now have our local rail in place. Now we just have to connect it to our other local station. So here is where I believe I'm going to make a tunnel. Because it's such a short segment from this station to this uh, little segment. So I think it would be pretty realistic to make a tunnel. Uh, that goes under this road, so we don't have to destroy this neighborhood. And I think that's a very plausible um, possibility, so let's start and make a tunnel here. Actually, let's uh, delete all of these buildings because they are in the way. Let's delete this. Now let's start going down. And hopefully this tunnel will not be in the way. Oh, of course it is. So let's try to do this in another way. Let's try to go by two blocks. So let's go down by one block and now let's come here, adjust the elevation and go down by an additional three. One, two, three. And hopefully we can make it connect all the way here. Okay. Now we can keep moving forward. And yes, we have a lot of tunnels here. It's going to be a big issue. But um, let's try this out. Let's make a tunnel here. Let's also make a tunnel here. So let's start tunneling at about this location. So, so again, let's go down by one full block. One. Now let's adjust the elevation. Go an additional one, two, three. And this is the minimum uh, height that is necessary to go under all of these tunnels. That's why I'm doing this. So let's make it come here and make it come all the way over here. Okay, pretty cool. Now I believe we can just uh, connect it directly to this little thing. And 
there we go. Okay, it's connected now. But of course we uh, made this really big mess, which you'll have to adjust. Look at this, this is hideous. Perhaps a good solution to this is to um, add an additional gap between um, both lines. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to delete all of this line, unfortunately. Let's delete it all the way over here. Now let's take this thing and continue it all the way over here. Okay, and there seems to be a problem. Where is it? It's this bridge. Let's delete it for now. Let's just uh, keep moving forward. And this is where this baby needs to start tunneling. Now let's go by one full block and another three. One, two, three. There we go. Now let's try to make this tunnel as long as possible. This is it. And yeah, I believe this is much better because we don't have that blue bug, that blue glitch that was happening. So I think we can live up with this thing. And now let's just uh, connect it. You know what guys, I believe we can do this uh, way better than what it is right now. Perhaps let's just go by one. Like this, a uh, yes, and there we go. We completely eliminated that um, bug that was happening, that elevation bug. And now let's uh, try and connect it all the way over here. And of course I'm going to delete that little pathway, but that's okay because we'll have to rebuild it anyway. So it can pretty much go. Okay, so now it's connected to our local station, which is amazing. Maybe I can even continue uh, the zoning of commercial that we had. There we go. And now before I resume the simulation, there's still a, lo a lot of things that I gotta do. One of them is fix the mess that I've done. I think I'm gonna make a pathway uh, splitting the residential neighborhood and the train track, just as we had. And I'll keep these houses as a two block houses. So let's just uh, do that. Let me select the pathway with trees. Let's make a pathway that goes all the way across uh, this neighborhood, all the way here. I will also have to rebuild this bridge. I can not forget about that. So let's try and do that. Let's take that out of the way and make a pillar here right in the middle and connect it back okay pretty cool we certainly cannot forget about all the pathway connections that we had i think i'm gonna bring this pathway all the way here okay pretty cool now let's bring it all the way to our train station and connect it here. Okay, we still have a lot of connections to rebuild such as this one. So here I believe we can go uh, all the way here so we'll just have to bring it here and now let's make it go down by uh, 82, that's the cost. So 82 here, 82 there, now let's connect it and make a few um, connections to the road. Okay, let's continue. Let's uh, put some houses here. Pretty cool, we have yet another connection here, so let's also rebuild it. Okay, so our local train line is now built, or at least uh, a part of it, because we are still missing a very important detail. So, and I'm gonna mention it in uh, a bit later. But let's just go to our train tab and select our train lines. We will have to move uh, the line to this station. And let's go all the way to this station and bring this stop all the way over here. And now, as you can see, we have a working line connecting the two stations, which is pretty much what we, we wanted. But now we have another pro problem, which is if I go here, and enable the train line number two, we can see that we have a line coming from this station um, to the other side of town. 
and that's not what I want. I want this station here connecting to uh, this uh, local station, which is the one that we have uh, been working on. So for that, I will have to make a connection between this line to this uh, local line that we have created. And that's going to be another big challenge. But before I do that, let me just um, do what I've promised I would do and connect this elevated pathway to this uh, station. And I think we can get away by just uh, making a connection here. Uh, will that be too close to the end of the train line? Yeah, a bit, but that's fine. It doesn't bother me. And let's also delete the segment because it's pretty much useless here. And now let's make a small uh, commercial building right in this corner. Now people, uh, to go from one session to the other, they can just uh, leave here and go through this elevated pathway, go over here and go through this um, pathway. Now we'll just have to make that connection that I uh, told you about. And this is going to be another big challenge because I pretty much don't have any room for that unless I do um, some, some very interesting things here. Perhaps what we can do now is delete this little segment and make an elevated um, pathway instead. Now we, we just need to find a way to connect these both and I believe we are going to delete this rock um, anyway, so yeah, that's going to be unfortunate. Uh, let's try to make this a bit... Um, give it a bit more room. So let's come all the way over here. Now let's connect it to this uh, line. Okay, so now we just need to connect that to the main um, to the main railroad, and for that I believe we'll have to continue the rail all the way over here and make a connection here and make another connection here. Well, first and foremost, let let me just bring this thing to the ground floor. Let's see how far we can take it. I think this will be it. Okay, connect it here. Same thing over here. There you go. Okay guys, I believe this connection is good enough. So now the only thing that we have left is to go to our train lines and grab this stop and place it here instead. And there we go. Now all the local lines are going through uh, this um, um, railway. And now I just want to go to every single one of these stops. This is going to be our original station, so I'm going to allow this thing. I am going to disallow trains in this station and I'm also going to disallow intercity trains in this station. Now. Before I resume the simulation, I need to make sure that all of this is connected properly, otherwise we are going to have a very big problem and we do not want that, of course. So I think this is all working. If I've forgotten any connection, guys, please let me know if I have, because uh, I cannot see any issue whatsoever with this connection. So. Okay, so I'm going to resume the simulation and we are going to see what happens. And look at that, much better. It seems that our issues with uh, train traffic are finally fixed. Um, the new line seems uh, to be handling um, train traffic very very effectively as we might have expected all the trains in this line are um, local trains as you can see let's see if we find another one yeah uh, there we go this one and all the trains in this track are either regional uh, cargo trains 
or a regional passenger trains. Let's see if we find one. Yeah, there we go. So everything seems to be working uh, exactly as intended. This interchange also seems to be handling traffic uh, quite well. And it seems that the problem is now fixed. Now, I've also noticed that sometimes we have a bit of trains accumulating here, waiting to go to this station. And that's because we have a big amount of trains in our local line. So if I come to the public transport view, we can see that we currently have two lines. One of them only has 126 passengers right now. So let's see. Perhaps this train could um, leave off with only one train. Because uh, look at the amount of people that we have waiting. So uh, let's try and remove the number of trains to one. So let's reduce the budget to 91%. And this one, on the other hand, this one can definitely have one train removed. Uh, because we have a lot of trains running at um, less than half capacity, so let's put these to um, three uh, trains at all. So let's do that, let's reduce the budget until we find the minimum amount, this is it. And I believe we haven't done the same with this. So let's go all the way to the minimum budget, yes. Let's also analyze the behavior of people. So, as I have expected, we have a lot of people coming out of the regional train and going through um, our elevated uh, pathways to either go to the monorail line or even to the local train line. Look at the amount of people traveling this pathway to come to this, um, to this station. And we have a lot of people actually. And this train seems to be sucked. No, it isn't. It's going. Pretty cool. Let's see if all of these people get into this train. Yeah, there we go. Pretty cool. So, yeah guys, mission accomplished. Now the only thing that I have left to do is uh, do something that I forgot, which is connect this pathway to the backside of this station. Uh, I'm not sure if that's something that I can do. Let me, let me check it out. Uh, I'm not sure this is going to fit. No, forget about it. So, this thing is over, so let's just delete the pathway. But perhaps we can make an elevated uh, pathway that connects uh, probably here. Let's let's try that, that out. Okay. So this is the best that I could do. And hopefully now people will use this elevated pathway to go to this little station as well. I also don't like how this uh, track or this segment of track is perfectly parallel to this one, but this one isn't and kind of does a curve. So let me try and fix this and uh, make this layout a bit better looking. Alright, not perfectly symmetrical, but I think it looks better. Alright guys, as you can see we're having um, a massive death wave, but don't mind that, that's pretty normal. Somebody asked me, however, uh, what was the effect of all the modifications that we have done on the last episode and also this one on the average traffic flow of the city and in all honesty it didn't uh, change much, so we're still stuck at 81-82%. Now, I don't know why this is, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that I know how this formula is calculated, because I really don't, uh, but I'm assuming uh, the game takes into account the red areas uh, that are present in the map. Even though there are uh, no obvious traffic congestions, but also volume, uh, the game seems to uh, consider that as a um, traffic flow issue, and so it decreases the performance, but anyway. 80 to 83 percent is pretty good for a city of this size, so I'm pretty much satisfied with it. And by the way, since we are at this view, you can see that the train line is now pretty green. There's a pretty big difference between the very bright red that we've seen on the beginning of the episode. So yeah, mission accomplished. And with this, we have finished the city and this series as well. The next episode will be the last of the series and will consist of a city tour. 
I am pretty much going around every single corner of the city explaining what I've done and exactly what was my thought process behind it and if I see some issues at any point of the city such as a lack of elementary schools or uh, fire stations or whatever I will fix them as I do the tour but the series will pretty much end at episode 85 that's going to be the last episode of the series on that episode I will also provide the city available for download on the Steam Workshop I've mentioned a long time ago, even though most of you don't know because you are relatively new subscribers, I've mentioned that on the last episodes of the series I would put the city available for download on Steam and I'm going to uh, keep up my promise and I'm going to do that on the next episode, so stay tuned for that. And finally, regarding the plans for the future, a lot of people have been asking me if I'm going to make a second series. Uh, Design and Manage Season 2, that's something that I have been talking about uh, for um, some time now. And the answer is um, yes and no. I am definitely going to make a Season 2 of Design and Manage on a different map, um, per preferably without any snow. The thing is, I've been doing videos in this format for the past year and a half, uh, weekly, without ever missing one. And I am um, tired, I need, I kind of need a break uh, from that. So I want to take some weeks off, perhaps do um, different types of video, such as tutorials or um, more random like videos, but still related to City Skylines. And then when I feel prepared, I will do and start a season two of Design and Manage. I think it's much better this way because uh, right now I'm lacking uh, inspiration, so I don't have uh, a lot of ideas for the next season. Uh, well, I have some, but I prefer to wait a little bit until I'm a bit more um, motivated and also excited for it. And give you um, very good quality episodes than just start a series right now, just doing things half-assed. So I think it's going to be better for all of us. But yeah guys, that's enough talk um, from me today. I hope you have enjoyed this video, I also hope you have enjoyed this entire series, it's been quite an adventure for the past year and a half, and I hope to see you again soon for more City Skylines videos. Thank you for keeping up with me uh, all this time, and helping me and supporting me and supporting my channel, help my channel grow, and stay tuned for the last episode. Thank you so much for watching guys, and as always, have fun!